I've never known. I've never I can actually see films coming like this. Yo, so they're actually going to learn. Yes. That's crazy. Oh my god. So my friend is gonna pass here. Yeah. That's crazy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. How are you doing? How are you feeling? I hope you're doing amazing. I'm super excited because in this video I am going to be surprising my husband. Yes. As you guys may know, he's not in Ghana, he went to Germany uh, for work and he's coming back today. That's why I was so excited seeing the plane passing because I'm like, oh my god, his plane is probably going to be passing here around 8 p.m. tonight. So because of that, being the amazing wife that I am, I want to surprise him. Of course, I'm, I'm going to cook for him, but I don't just want to cook for him. I want to make him his favorite meal. His favorite favorite. He loves chicken, but um, it's not his favorite meal. Uh, actually, he's been struggling with food in Germany. Um, I've been with him on calls, and he's telling me he's looking for food. And then he went to 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 the bar area of his hotel, and he was asking them, "Do you have chicken wings?" And the guy was like, "No, we don't have chicken wings." And I was telling him, "Try some German food. You can't be eating chicken every day." He's like, "No, I want chicken. I don't want German food." I'm like, wow, okay, this guy. Anyway, because I know he's been struggling with food and stuff like that, you know, we are struggling to find the best food. Um, today I'm going to do him a favor and make him not just any food but his favorite meal. And I'll guess, drop a comment, guess what do you think is my favorite meal? Before, don't forget the video, before you see his favorite meal, just give it a guess. So, what I'm gonna do right now is go out. Actually, come with me, let's see what's in the kitchen. Uh, we have a couple of things in the kitchen, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. We have some pepper, we have some, of course, this is like obvious, uh, in Ghana. We have some ginger, we have some onion, yeah. Um, so, but it's not, it's not enough for the meal I want to make. So, I think I'm gonna go out and buy this food. Buy all the ingredients needed and then come back and start cooking. I hope you guys are so excited. I think he's really gonna love this food. So right now it's about four and he's coming at eight. They have a couple of hours, so come with me. Let's go to the market. Let's go and uh, oh yeah, the money. Let's go and buy the ingredients. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. Oh, I am so excited. <laughs> but it's not far it's just around in the estates actually i don't have to leave the estate right no it's you don't in the estate so this is gonna be so cool you guys uh it's just at least Ghanaian roads like um how they are how they are but it's okay i'm getting used to it i don't want to complain so come with me let's go right now i don't have to go with a shopping bag because you know these guys are still using polythene bags uh, I'm still going to. I'm going to. Uh, they, are, they are going to give me polythene bags. They give away so much. It's crazy. So many polythene bags for everything you buy, you know. And other countries in the world right now, like Kenya, um, they don't. Polythene bag is illegal. I really love this community. I love how quiet it is. I love how secured it is. I really love this place. The only thing, the only thing I might not love about it is that it is far from the city center. Other than that, and sometimes that's actually not a bad thing because sometimes you just need a break from everything. Do you get? Like you just need a break from everything. So yeah. It was really difficult for us when we didn't have a car, but now when you have a car, it's like okay, you can just drive. from the market and in my head when I'm driving in Ghana I have to keep telling myself keep right keep right keep right ah, because you guys know that where I come from in Kenya we always keep left when you're driving so
Oh wow. And I know you are the wife of Modimaya. Oh yes I am. Oh, I'm famous in Ghana. Do you have rice at home? Yes, I have rice. We will rice. So let's get hey, it. Will will it will work. Yeah, it will. Oh, they broke it, right? Okay, what else? Tomato. I have tomato paste. Okay, then. Uh, Ask if she has the salmon. Do you have salmon? Mm -hmm. Can I get some salmon? Mother Woody Maya. My name is Ajma Lawrence. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, He's like, can I take you home? I'm like, oh, thank you, but I have a car ready. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, you guys. <laughs> okay, so we are back in the house. You don't even believe what happened. After waiting there for like 30 minutes, the guy who was selling the chicken didn't show up. We waited and waited and they said he's coming. Oh, guys, we waited. We wasted so much time. We had to go back to the lady who we bought the vegetables from because she, she has, she also sells fish and meat and chicken. Then we got the chicken and then we came back. But it really wasted a lot of our time. Anyway, we're back in the house. We want to do the cooking real quick because time is not on our side and then head out so yeah lights on but it's still oh, that's much better although it's still oh big difference although there's still light outside as you guys can see so yeah let me wash my hands and then we'll start it guys so as you can see we're skipping right to eat i don't want to waste so much time this is a chicken we bought some chicken um this is pepper this is some tomato some onions you're gonna add some garlic we're gonna put this on the on the fire and start boiling uh, and start boiling it then after it boils uh, we're going to blend this later so let's not waste too much time let's throw this on the fire see how colorful Ghanaian food is so colorful you've got green red purple white brown i'm telling you i'm telling you so let's throw this on fire let's put some water first some water i think that should be enough water here is the rice we were supposed to use broken rice but uh we didn't get the broken rice and we didn't have much time so i've been told we can improvise so we're gonna be improvising using this normal rice Cross your fingers for us. Let's hope everything goes well. Um, yeah. So this is where we had stuff. And uh, this is called kenke pepper. <laughs> Did you say it? <laughs> Banku rubber. That's what they call it in Ghana. This is just, we see, just call it polypin bag or colorless bag in Kenya, yeah? But uh, this is where we're going to be putting the... Ah, uh, the rice balls. Yeah, they also put banku here. I guess that's why they call it banku rubber. Of course, you use... Uh, pepe, this is like a masting. I don't even have to say this, you guys already know. And uh, some ginger and more spices. This is our salmon. My my babe loves salmon so much. So we're gonna be putting this in the food. And you can see all these wrappers. This is what I was telling you about. They give you so many paper bags. And sometimes it's like, this case just have paper bags to waste. Do you guess? What do you guys think about this? I feel like Ghana should put the policy where, you know, people don't use polythene bags because of the way they harm the environment. Let me know if you agree. Or do you just think they should continue? Let's have a conversation. This is a blended ginger and onion. I'm going to be pouring it into this um, mixture. So it can help when um, putting, uh, adding the spices into the meat as it boils. Guys, we have put our groundnut paste, so we're just supposed to mix it up. I put groundnut paste, which is basically groundnut that has been mashed, yeah. grinded, yeah, into paste. And then I'm just gonna mix it up with the water really well. Now, this is the reason why this thing is called groundnut soup. And then you're going to add it, but later on, I guess. Working on the salmon, what you do is you peel off the outer skin so we have this after we wash it it looks so fresh and clean and uh, we are basically going to dispose of this is this the poop of the salmon yeah <laughs> it's literally the poop of the salmon um yeah and the bones and um you guys don't use the head 
No, no way. For me, I really love eating the head of the fish. There is a myth. Um, do you guys know? I don't know if it's a myth. I think it might be true. Where they say that if you eat the fish of the head, you're going to become really wise because yeah. that's where all the wisdom is stored. Do you guys do say the same in Ghana? Yeah, yes, exactly. So I'm like, why are they not eating the fish of the head? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Do you guys don't want wisdom? I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm shocked to hear that that's uh, the same case in Ghana as well. I thought it's just a Kenyan thing. So, um, yeah, now that our fish is ready, now let's work on the rice. I'm very excited. How many cups of rice do we do? Like two cups? Two cups of rice. Uh, yeah. Guys, update. You guys remember I told you guys me I measure my rice. I've really been trying not to measure rice, but I've still been scared. I start to pour, then I'm like, Trudy, you better get your cup. So I go get a cup and measure. That's just how I do it. Do you measure rice? Yeah. Remember, guys, you said you're supposed to use broken rice because it's easier when you're making some rice balls. But um, unfortunately, we didn't get broken rice. So it's going to use what we have. So I'm going to pour that there. And uh, these days I wash my rice. They guys used to come at me for not washing rice. Hey, I changed though. After I saw how they step on rice and stuff with bare feet, hey, I started. <laughs> I started washing my rice. Look at this water. I'm gonna rinse it like four times because I really like it when my water is really clear. Okay, so this is what you are going to be using on the rice balls. Um, for a second, we thought it's lost. Couldn't find it in the kitchen. We freaked out, looked everywhere, but I already found it. It's like you're making ugali, but it's rice. Do you get? Guys, so now we've put the rice on fire. What you do is you put uh, excess water so that it can become, you know, the rice balls, and then you keep mixing it up so it doesn't settle perfectly like rice should. And this is our chicken boiling. I have removed the the what was there the the tomato, onions, pepper, and it's been blended. You guys already know you must blend stuff in a Ghanaian kitchen, and we are gonna add this to the mixture later. In the meantime, um, we are adding the tomato paste to the stew, to the soup. <laughs> Oh my god, to the soup, I'm sorry. Hey, don't come for me. So we're gonna mix it up and then um, let it boil. Guys, see how colorful this looks. Oh my god, it looks so good. And the, the reason is we have added the, what you had blended, the tomato, the onion. So it gives it the color. Now I am going to add the salmon. There you go up the rice to make the rice balls so you basically turn it as if you're turning ugali you know the way you turn ugali yeah that's what you're trying to do guys now we've added the groundnut paste and you can if you are here you'd smell the groundnuts you know it smells really good it's boiling and you're gonna leave it on fire for a while um, i have to add some maggi So I'm telling the person that I'm with here that for me it was like a culture shock when I came to Ghana and I saw how they put different types of meat in different soups and stews. I was in shock because in Kenya when you're cooking fish, you cook fish. If it's beef, you cook beef. If it's pork, pork. You know, if it's chicken in Ghana, they'll mix pork, they'll throw in pork, then they'll throw in some beef, then they throw in some chicken. And you're like, oh my god, like the world is not coming to an end. Just chill. <laughs> you can enjoy chicken today. Tomorrow you eat the pork. The day after that you can eat the food. Why do you have to throw everything together? Ah, I was so scared of stomach absence, but I've never really gotten stomach absence here in Ghana. So I think, you know, it's just, it's okay. But it was just a shock to me. So do me a favor, drop a comment, let me know. How do you do it in your country? Are you the kind of people who just throw everything together, or is it one food, um, one type of food? Let's have a conversation. Who oh, comes sweating? Yo, I need, I need water. I need water. And uh, guys, I, we have to start heading to the airport.
about 30 minutes our rice balls are starting to take shape you can see they looked mashed now this this clearly doesn't look like normal rice so it's time to take it off the fire so yeah Hey guys, remember what I told you guys, uh, this is, these are the papers that you're going to be using to wrap our rice balls. Um, so this is how you do it. Hey, you cut one side and then I'm going to put them in water just so that it doesn't get too sticky and then I'm going to use them and continue. I'm going to take the rice ball. It's so interesting how they do this. I think it's gonna be really difficult for Ghanaians to get rid of these polythene bags because they use them a lot. Like they <laughs> they use like them to put like rice balls and also what other thing they use it for? Uh, banku. Banku. Eba. Eba. It's like so many things. So it's gonna be tricky. Now I understand why they want to ban it because they. Have they have to get another another option guys so it's time we actually a bit late but i'm not sure i can't even remember how long it took me to take him to the airport the last time so anyway we have about 45 minutes to get to the airport by eight but when he lands he has to go through immigration i know he's going to be meeting fans so maybe he'll be out of the airport at nine okay maybe nine is too late maybe nine thirty to nine forty five so yeah uh the rice balls are ready Ah. And uh, the his favorite soup, which is the grandma's soup, he's gonna love this. He's gonna think he's coming to you know the ordinary chicken. He has no idea that I have prepared for him his favorite soup. Oh my god, he's gonna fall in love with me. He's gonna fall in love. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Guys, we are at the airport and we are right on time. I can't believe it. And we left like at 7.28. Yeah. 23 there. So I was like, it's taken us like 30 minutes. Oh, what? I always say it's like an hour from our house to the airport because we live far. Guys, the, this place is packed. So it's so many people. And I, I feel like everyone is anxious to see their loved ones. I feel like at night there's more people than during the day. So usually when coming to Kenya, I mean coming to Ghana or leaving, we usually leave like during the day. So leaving at night or coming here at night is a whole different experience. So going to the kitchen because he's hungry uh, what do you think I made for you oh, oh. the soup yes I made yes. you your favorite soup mm. wow that's different your favorite soup babes yeah. oh. oh it's close it's close so I, I I made it with love, with a lot of love. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. 
Wow. He did this, babe? Yeah, of course I did it. Mm. So good. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. I'm becoming a Ghanaian now. Of course. You can't get married to a Ghanaian and not be a Ghanaian. Yeah. Until the next one, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Um, love you for watching.